Hi there, welcome. What I'd like to show you in this video is how to find the average value of a continuous function on a closed interval. Here, the function we're going to find the average value of is f of x equals 15x over x squared plus 1, and the closed interval is the closed interval 0 to 5. Now remember to do this, we're looking at finding our average value of our function, f sub a v g, and we're just using that subscript with that abbreviation to make sure that we identify what we're finding. And then that's equal to 1 over b minus a times the definite integral from a to b of f of x dx. And we have our function is 15x over x squared plus 1. And then for our closed interval, well, a is the left endpoint of the closed interval, and b is the right endpoint of the closed interval. So here, we have f sub average is equal to 1 over 5 minus 0 times the definite integral from 0 to 5 of my 15x over x squared plus 1 dx. Now when I look at that integrand, remember we want to find an antiderivative of 15x over x squared plus 1, and then use the antiderivative where c is equal to 0, so we don't need to add this c when we're evaluating the definite integral, and then plug in the upper limit of integration through the antiderivative, minus plugging in the lower limit. And when I look at this integrand, I see that my denominator has two different terms, and I need to use u substitution with this. Now let's rewrite this first before we identify what we will have for our u substitution. So I have 1 over, well 5 minus 0 is 5, and the definite integral from 0 to 5 of, well I can bring this 15 factor in the numerator out as a constant factor from the constant multiple rule. And it's in the numerator, so I'm going to write it times 15 in the numerator out in front of the integral. And then this x squared plus 1 is in the denominator, so we're going to bring that up out of the denominator by going x squared plus 1 to the negative 1 power. And then our factor x that's in the numerator, we have that times x dx. And I rewrite it in that form because that helps me identify what my u designation should be. Remember, u is that expression that's being acted on. So the action of negative 1 power is on that expression x squared plus 1. Now if u represents x squared plus 1, we also need to look at the differential du. And taking the derivative of the right-hand side, I get the derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x, and then times the differential dx. And I look and I don't have the factor of 2, but I do have the factor of x and the dx. So we're going to divide the 2 over to the other side, and we have 1 half du is the replacement for x dx. Now we also have a definite integral, so I need to also um, find the values for the limits of integration. When x is equal to 0, that gives me that u will be equal to 0 squared plus 1, or u is equal to 1. When x is equal to 5, the upper limit of integration, I get u is equal to 5 squared plus 1, or u is equal to 26. So now back over with our information for the average value of the function, well 1 times 15 divided by 5 is 3 and I have times a definite integral from my u lower limit of integration is 1 to my u upper limit of integration is 26 and x squared plus 1 is u, so I have u to the negative 1 and x dx goes out and 1 half du goes in its place. So now we have our factor of 1 half can be brought out with the constant multiple rule, and 3 times 1 half is 3 halves. And the 
indefinite integral of u to the negative 1 is the natural log of the absolute value of u. And we are evaluating that from 1 to 26. And then we plug in our upper limit of integration first. So it's 3 halves times the natural log. Well, the absolute value of 26 is 26 minus the natural log and the absolute value of 1 is 1. And then simplifying one more step, I get 3 halves times natural log of 26 minus, well the natural log of 1, remember the natural log of 1 is 0. And so our final result is our average value of the function f of x equals 15x over x squared plus 1 on the closed interval from 0 to 5 is 3 halves times the natural log of 26. And there you go, an example of finding the average value of a continuous function on a closed interval.